Hello my friends and welcome back, it's episode 92. I'm not going to move my units forward. I thought about it, but I'm just going to leave it for now and see what happens. I thought about it. But I would give up all my entrenchment. And there's some very big, scary tank units there that could change direction. A, a breach at one point in the wall is way easier to deal with than a, than a, a couple of breaches. Okay, strange place for an airstrike. There are lots of anti-aircraft guns in these areas. But, uh, it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> All it does is reduce the damage from, like, 15 to 20 to half that. Okay. Got boys probing the wall. Wow, that's some big units there. Did they perhaps call in another fat card down there? Anyway, it's afternoon. Offensive capabilities are reduced. Then it will be night time and offensive capabilities will be basically zero. And this buys time for my units to move. Hopefully, maybe get my hands on some cards that help me defend. And of course, I mean, I got like 36 VP or something for kills. <laughs> I'm not really under any huge pressure to uh, take territory. I mean, if nothing changes over the next 26 rounds, I have a major victory, so... Okay, just the usual chipping away at the corners. Okay, that backfired. Let's hope I get some nice cards. The AI might not push forward because it's afternoon, it's difficult to attack. Ooh, that was brutal. Both sides took massive losses. They took way more losses than I did, but it was still brutal. <laughs> I lost like 20 guys, they lost like 50. Oof, that artillery hit was bad. I gotta find this artillery and shut it down. Find the off button for it. Now 
Nighttime will be a welcome reprieve for the beleaguered forces in the bottom corner. I don't know what these guys are doing hanging around in that swamp. That's like the worst place you could possibly be. Wow, that guy just walked into a murder hole. It's fine. It doesn't look like I got breached. Unbelievably. German trucks. Oh, new unit. That could be my saviour. If it allows for a southern spawn. Ooh, tigers. On the eastern border. That's sad. so many political points it's hilarious where's the most ideal place to put them to get them moving fast Tigers. Oh, let's just send them along the bottom. One small tiger team was placed on the border. How small? 25 tigers and some anti aircraft guns. transport mode for some reason splitting these guys across the two roads to prevent traffic from slowing them down HQ that doesn't have a bloody speed card, huh? It's fine. Do you know what? I mean, they're more than halfway. Well, no, not quite, but over a third of the way. 
Looks like the enemy did not attack here. Hold the line. This unit is in so much trouble. <laughs> okay, they're not going to attack at night, so we'll uh, we'll move this. It's a brand new unit, so it's not like moving it at night is going to cost me anything. Uh, do I fire the artillery? Is there a nighttime penalty for firing artillery? It doesn't look like there is. I don't see the penalty here. I guess the penalty is vision, is vision based. In that you only, I only have 55 recon on them, so I can barely see. There's a river here, by the way, so these... This unit cannot... This is a river and a cliff, so these units cannot easily move down here to then push forward. In case you're wondering why I'm not so concerned about this position. So maybe I can play a recon card on this. Get some really good sight, 60 sight, that's still not great. Do it, give it to him. Oh, the damage was mental. I lost one artillery piece, they lost. 23 units there, 26. Let's call that 50, 60, about 60 units, maybe more. Let's soften that blow. So they have a night penalty and I have a night penalty. I don't think any of these units are tired as they have just been sat still for turn after turn after turn. 95, 95. Okay, none of these units are tired. They are they are ready for combat except this one. Let's see if I can hurt him. Nice! I lost five units. They lost... Uh, 12 tanks and four trucks. To the last man. No surrender. You will hold the line until the reinforcements arrive. Uh, we got tanks coming. This is actually a really slow unit. Uh, I'll just leave it. I'll leave this unit with yellow. I need trucks to move it around. But I'll leave it with yellow to um, fend off any other potential ingress.
Who's your officer? Oh, it's old. It's all hers group. Okay. There's been some enemy movement during the night. But there's nothing I want to do at night. It's generally speaking not worth it. Might as well rest and resupply. Supplies have nearly depleted from this depot. I don't have any other cards that could help me. No, I don't need fuel. I got loads of fuel. That's it. That's it for the nighttime turn. I'm content to just let all other units rest. There might be a few bits and pieces that I can do, but. To me, it's not worth spending 30, 40 minutes searching the map for the couple of moves I can make. <clears throat> I'll keep my supplies to myself for the night turn. It feels to me like the only thing you really achieve by moving loads of stuff at night is making your guys exhausted and easy to destroy. I suppose I could have moved those two, uh, those two Jaegers. Those two small Jaeger units that I made to cut off the rear supply line. I could have moved them around. At least the AI is smart enough to not use airstrikes at night. Yeah, artillery, not that effective because the, the only reason why artillery doesn't work at night is because of vision. So if you've got good vision, then you're okay. Oh, that was another extremely vicious fight to the death. Ooh, yikes. They just walked into my wall and uh, lost like 200 units. Looks like the enemy is exploring my wall here. Look at this. Ah, once that tiger unit makes it to the front line, those enemy Shermans will be a delicious snack. For sure. Come on, give me some good cards. It's a new, it's a bright new day. Give me something good. Forty-three thousand losses. One hundred twenty-four thousand losses. Ouch. 
Ah, yes, new unit and and a quick group. Can either of these Volksgrenadier? Southeastern, yes. <laughs> Looks like Team Orange won't be needed after all. I put them on the front line. What will this deploy? Artillery regiments, Volksgrenadiers. Wow, it looks like I'm not the only. It uh, looks like the AI is not the only one who's going to get friggin' teleported units. Do it. Do you know what? I almost. I don't even need that anymore. This is a huge unit. Looks like they're probing other parts of my wall. Okay. Let's go back to build up mode. fact let's stick a major depot down here as well I'm gonna need it to supply all the stuff that's going down here right okay Interesting choice. Move mode. Okay, so I hesitate to use the word secure in this situation because we are blatantly not secure. But things are looking up. This guy is in a murder hole. I lost seven guys. Three, four, five, ten. Uh, Thirteen guys and ten trucks. It's not bad. Tanks. Can't do much about those. But I can certainly make it rain all over this guy. I will. Wow, considering the sheer amount of units that the enemy is investing in this front, um, I'm going to need this. And I'm going to need this. <laughs> I'm going to need orange to come and help red, probably. I mean, this is just an enormous amount of units that they have pushed into this front. Make it rain, artillery. Nice. Hun 
101. Use your uh, entrench card here. This position I need to hold on to for now. If this blob of units doesn't move by next turn, I am going to slam it from all sides, which with this enormous force here is going to cause these guys to be disintegrated like a chocolate bunny in a microwave. I don't think I have any other... These guys are in a bad way because they actually walked in, they blundered into this front line during the night time. And uh, they were very brutally punished for it. That's a lot of enemies. Holy crap. <laughs> They're actually taking a modifier for there being so many in that tile. Fight to the last man. I don't know if I believe the game where it says that I can win this easily. Okay, so they're gaining 2550. Fifty. Uh a hundred percent more hit points. 60% more attack power, but then losing 40. I think I'm sitting still. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Because the tank helped. But I pushed them back onto each other, so now I can. Now I can waffle them. In fact, all units not involved in the engagement. <laughs> Okay, an additional eight kills. That's not unreasonable. I don't know what this unit is, but it is in a horrible position. Oh, the attack aborted. Try again. Oh, they surrendered. That's why it aborted. Good. That's another piece of filth off my front line. Okay. This is 
Hans's uh, fortress battalion just here to uh, block block the area. Well, it looks like the AI has been running away big styly. And how can you blame it? Before I forget. Looking good. Can I? No. I guess unless it's connected to... Uh, unless this is connected to the either maybe the border or directly back to my supply source. I can't cast these cards here. Which is fine. I don't know if the enemy is going to run back at some point and uh, undo this. But it is pretty amusing. <laughs> it's pretty amusing to watch these guys just slowly cutting off this rear area to just be really annoying to the enemy. And really for no other reason. I must admit, as, as nice as it is that uh, summoning a unit out of nowhere has bailed me out, it still does feel very cheesy to me that this is a thing that you can do. That you don't have to summon all your units in from the edge. I suppose it, you know, it adds something, doesn't it? I'm going to put the uh, emergency group here. Because uh, this unit needs some help. No surrender. We kept some of the entrenchment. That's good. Okay, I can't uh, I can't add a HQ to it right now because it's brand new. Looks like these guys have got supply problems, at least receiving supplies. Nope, not anymore. Well, I guess because they pushed forward everywhere. Another guy in a murder hole. I am going to move this up here. Because if they do breach this position, and there is a lot of force here, so they could, I would like to have the HQ on the hill where it would be hard to damage. Uh, with the reinforcements that have just arrived, I think I think we're okay. Let's join in. Okay, yeah, I think I think we're okay. This this is a huge relief. With this, I feel like I can realistically push these guys back and reacquire my the better positions. This position here is horrible. That's why I didn't occupy it because it's swamp. This is like, this is the last place you want to be. Whereas, uh, I mean, this is a field, it's okay. And this is like a high ground field 
with a river surrounding it. So this is actually a really good position, but it defends from this direction. It doesn't defend from this direction. So I should be able, in theory, I should be able to use these units to destroy this, then take these positions, which are not terrible, to attack this swamp position and to attack this position and then eventually take this position back. Um, I mean, all I have to do really is hold them still, because I have all the hills, so I have great sight on everything. So, as long as they keep hanging around here, I can just keep dropping artillery on them. And I am doing, you know, 40 to 60 damage a turn with artillery alone. Yeah, man, there is, uh... They threw everything in the kitchen sink at me down here, that's for sure. Look at this curve. <laughs> oh, man, I've been smacking them hard. Okay, I'm gonna say that that's it for now. Orange is on its way. It's going to be probably another four to six turns before it arrives. Um, but this looks like it's going to hold. So that's great. I might see about just shuffling some units around to try and trim trim away enemies on the edges here. Um, I got lots of artillery and such lying around here. So I'll see what I can do about clearing away some of these units from my front line. And carry on the, uh, the northerly push. This this uh, position will not hold. There is l there is no hope of this position holding. So, as soon as it breaks, I carry on cutting north as hard and as fast as I can. Meanwhile, these guys continue to just clean up everything, pushing towards the, the line that I want to take. and doing all the damage I can possibly do. If everything goes to plan, it should culminate with large forces arriving at Liege, probably towards the end of the campaign. If I don't cut it short, because the AI has no hope of winning, which I suggested that somewhere between 250 and 300 VP would be a place to just say the AI has no hope of coming back. Like even for a minor victory as opposed to a major one. But uh, you know if the game becomes really static and boring and uh, I'm just burning turns to win then uh, then I'll consider cutting the campaign early, but uh, at the moment, the AI could come back, for sure. I mean, um, isn't uh, this town is worth twenty points? So all the AI has to do is actually turn some units around and actually take this back for 20 points. So, we're still up in the air in terms of between a minor victory and a major one. But they're definitely not coming back for a uh, for a minor ally victory. That's that is definitely off the table now. So, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.